Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back. My name is Saska and this is Saska Digital Budgeting. In today's video, we're gonna be budgeting and stuffing paycheck number one of November. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and stay tuned. All right, so paycheck number one of November. Let's go ahead and get on into it. Um, this is going to be a magic month for me. I'll go ahead and say this first so that I, you know, don't forget later. Um, it's a magic month for me, so that means I have three paychecks this month, which makes me super excited so I can maybe catch up on some of the savings challenges and uh, other kind of stuff that um, has kind of been lacking this month. So let's just go ahead and get on into it. So this paycheck, I got paid $1,000. $939.91, but I am rounding up to $1,940. Nine cents can come out of my buffer, and I know, don't really care. So let's go ahead and count this money up and see if it is, in fact, the 1940 that we believe that we do have, okay? So, smaller stack, yeet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-one, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-two, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-three, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-two, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-three, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-four, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-five. 20, 40, 60, 85. So that's 1,500. 20, 40, 60, 80, 96, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 97, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 800. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 900, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. All right. Did the math right in the counting and all of the things. So, how's y'all's week been? How was your Halloween and your start of the month of November? We are getting into uh, cooler months here. I hope everyone's enjoying it. Uh, I do. I know not everybody enjoys cooler months, but I don't actually live in uh, a cold climate, so uh, when it's cold here, I actually enjoy it because at other times of the year, it is hot as a furnace. We'll say that. So. Uh, I am enjoying it, and I hope you are enjoying the weather as well. Alrighty, so we're going to bump on down two bills. Bills look a little bit different this week. I made the decision to split my bills um, across all three paychecks instead of just doing like two paychecks and then a full paycheck that is just whatever the heck, um, so that I can stuff more in other places, basically, um, especially with this paycheck being like um, an average you know, paycheck for me, like at base pay basically, um, with working all of my hours, but only working those, you know, regular scheduled hours. I don't have any overtime on this paycheck is basically what I'm saying. So, um, bills, not what they normally are. We split my bills into three. Just, yeah, that's, that's just what that is. All right. So pop it on over here to rent, which is getting 490. And then and on some of these, because it didn't like nice and, uh, you know, neatly break into threes, I just rounded up like the dollar or two to the closest like whole dollar for the most part, um, just because that was easier. So one, two, three, four, 80, 90. Okay. Because it was easier. Some of them I rounded up to the closest five. Some of them I rounded up to the closest dollar. Um, there was no real rhyme or reason. I just... I just did. It was just a part of it was I didn't want to um, stuff a whole bunch of ones, so I didn't. Um, utilities is getting 47 this week. So 20, 45, 47. Oop, if I can get in here. Got to organize the money. Oop. All right. Get in there, get in there, get in there. And then internet is getting 15, 10, and a 5. Um, up next, car insurance is getting 100. And then car note, we're going to pop on over here for, is getting 175. Okay. 
And then we've got back on over here, it's gonna be, hello, power is getting 20. Vet bills is getting 23. Cat stuff is getting 10. Phone is getting 15. And then last here, subscriptions will also be getting $10. And maybe. No, I'm just, I have to pull it out. I don't want to pull it out. I was trying to avoid pulling it out. All right, that's it, four bills. So we're gonna pop on over to my spending allowances. They have stayed the same. But first, we need to unstuff this bad boy and see how much money is left over from last paycheck. Cause even I'm not sure. So let's see. Gas had five. Food had 20, 40, 60, 75. 75, see I spent some money. Um, coffee just has a 20 in there. General has nothing. Laundry has six. So, oh, that's convenient that it all organized itself. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 6. 106 dollars going towards the 100 envelope savings challenge, which is nice. And then let's stuff it. It's gonna get, gas is gonna get 50 as usual. I'm thinking about bumping this up to 60 just because, you know, with fluctuations in gas, the last two times I've gotten gas, it was like $45, but the first time it was like $55. So I don't know. I'm thinking about it. We'll see. All right. Get, food is getting 120 as usual. Coffee is getting 50 as well. Although that being said with the gas thing, my boyfriend is going to be moving considerably closer to me because he lives about 25 to 30 minutes away from me right now, but he's going to be moving to like five minutes away from me. Just, you know, it just worked out that way. So I'm not going to be driving as much. So maybe, I don't know. General spending is getting 60. We will see. Laundry is getting 10. There's that. So that's all stuff, stuffed up and ready to go for the next two weeks. And then at the back here, I've got some receipts that I need to scan into Fetch. If you don't know what Fetch is, it is a rewards app basically um, where you scan in your receipts um, throughout the week. Um, I think they expi the receipts expire after 14 days. Um, so you scan your receipts and those receipts turn into points and then you can use points once you rack them up to uh, get gift cards, redeem your, your points for gift cards. And those gift cards can be for food, for gas, for uh, retail, um, Starbucks, Dunkin', you know, all those different things. Um, and uh, yeah, it's free gift cards, basically. All you just have to do is remember to, to um, scan your rewards or scan your receipts in. Um, you can also upload your um, receipts from your email. You can bring them over from Amazon and then also from Walmart. They just recently added that. So uh, up on the screen here, is my referral code if you use that when you sign up and you scan your first receipt you get some bonus points for scanning your first receipt and i get some bonus points for referring you so go ahead and check it out if you're interested um the link that is down below for the app if you are interested all right moving along to sinking funds so last last month um just happened to turn out to be a no sinking fund stuffing month it just, just, just is what it is. Um, I didn't stuff anything in the sinking funds. Um, that was because my paychecks weren't um, big enough for me to be, you know, to, to feel like I, I should. So um, this paycheck and whatnot, we're gonna be stuffing a little bit. It's not a lot of it, but it's a little bit, right? So, and that's what's important. Um, so in my emergency fund binder here, we're starting off with main savings, which is gonna get $100. So let's see, we got one, two, Three three thousand one two three four five six three thousand six hundred twenty forty fifty sixty sixty five sixty six. So that was three thousand six hundred and sixty six. Was that right? That's a lot of sixes. I don't really like that. Oh well, moving along. Up next is going to be auto repair, which is getting ten dollars. 
There's nothing in auto repair, so that's an easy count. It just has the 10. Woot. Woot. Because I spent all of this at the end of September, and then I didn't put anything in October. So, um, emergency fund is going to go ahead and get $30. I want to still try and get $1,000 in here by the end of the, the year, so I've got two months to do that. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800. 820. Yeah, 820. My brain. Oh, don't do that. 820 in emergency fund. That just means I need $180 more across the next four paychecks, which is doable. It's like $45 a paycheck. Uh, home is getting $10. So in home, we've got 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 600. 620, 630, 635. So 1,635. All right. School is up next is the first envelope in the high priority binder. Um, and it's not getting anything. Um, so meh. There's like $150 in here maybe. Maybe. 120, 40, 60, 163. But I'm not putting anything in there because I don't need it right now. My, my um, job is paying for my bachelor's degree. So um, unless I want to take extra classes, um, that's what that would be used for. But right now I don't need the money for the extra classes. But I'm going to slowly, if money is there, I'm going to add money back into it. So that when I need it, I have it. Um, month ahead is going to get $20. So in month ahead, we have 1, 2, 300, 320, 340, 360, 380, 390. So 390 in month ahead. Um, vacation is going to get $20. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 65, 66. Stab it. Oh, no. Don't you start this up now. Come on. 66. I need a new I need a new tablet. <laughs> That's what I need. Um, me and mine is getting at 25. And then let's see what we got in here. So I honestly have no idea. We've got one at 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63. 163 in here as well. Speaking of a new tablet, I seriously think I might start this new tech envelope up in the new year again, um, but who knows, we'll see. Social is getting $10, so we got 20, 40, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 98, and social, And then we've got the lower priority sinking funds coming up here in this uh, purple envelope or binder. Um, starting with pantry stock up, which is getting at $20. Uh, I haven't had to do any like major meat um, purchasing, so I haven't really used this. So we have 60, 65, 67, 68. So 68 in pantry stock up, but I will soon. I'm like, I'm low. I need I need to think about actually going to the store and getting some some food, you know. Um, home goods is getting ten dollars today. Uh, we've got twenty. Ooh, no, no. Twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight. So seventy-eight in home goods. All right, medical is gonna get five today. So we've got 20, 40, 65. And then for gifts, gifts is also getting $5. I've got nothing really coming up. Although honestly, I should think about buying my boyfriend something for Christmas. Um, budgeting and YouTube, that was $10 total. I didn't write it down. Budgeting and YouTube is also getting $5, so we've got 30 in here now. And then last up is in the sink, our, uh, yeah, sinking funds 
is going to be yearly subscriptions, which is getting a $10 bill. So we've got, it looks like, $220 in here. All right. Ah, get in there. Get bills that want to fold. All right. And then we paid our car loan in bills. So now we can come on down to our savings challenges. Starting off with the payday challenge. And it is the second, so it, it is getting a whopping $2 here for the first paycheck of November. So, yay, $2. I'm like so half tempted just to throw like an extra $5 in there just to like, because I can, but mm, I don't know. All right, so that is it for the savings challenges from my paycheck. But now we're going to deal with the 100 envelope savings challenge with my leftover money from the um, spending allowances. So we are putting in $106 and now comes the math that I don't know if I wanna do. Oh, my calculator's all the way on the other side of the room. Hold on. Okay, so $106. Hmm. <laughs> um, no. Let's do 79, which gives us 27 for the remainder. So 79 and 27 is what it's going to be. Because, uh, yeah, we're just making it work here. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 106 dollars. Going on into the 100 envelope savings challenge. I really want this done. Ugh, by the end of the year, I don't know if that's actually going to happen, if I'm going to be real realistic with myself, but I'm going to certainly try. Certainly going to try. All right, so that is that. Now for the rest of the money, which should be $463, which is going into the challenge money for next week's saving challenge, savings challenge stuffing. So we got 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3. Yeah, that's right. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. I, I miscounted something. 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 61, 62, 63. I didn't, I didn't miscount it. I just thought I was putting less in. Never mind. Ignore me. All right. So 463 is accurate. So now I got to put all this money where it goes without making a big mess of things. If I can get that. Okay. And then that. Perfect. Okay. Money. Done probably 550 570 ish is my guess i'm not actually sure because i don't remember what i put in last pay period anyway that is what i've got for you today we actually stuffed their sinking funds this time because we didn't the last two pay periods um i'm glad that it's a magic month for me and i get three whole paychecks uh let me know if it's a magic month for you and what you intend on doing with your extra paycheck if it's just going to go into savings or if you're doing something fun for, for yourself with it or are you applying it to like holiday gifts and stuff like that mm, that's a thought um so let me know in the comment below or comments below i can't speak and um i'd love to hear from you guys but as of right now, that's what I've got for you. So I will catch you guys on the flip side for a savings challenge stuffing next Friday. Uh, Y'all do something nice for yourself. Relax, recharge, enjoy the weekend if you're not working. Um, <laughs> and we'll see you then for the next savings challenge stuffing video next week. All right. Peace. Mm -hmm.